Hi, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising. Also, if you have your Venus or your Mars in Cancer in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I really, really do appreciate it. Also, I will not be posting the extended readings for purchase on Gumroad. If any of you have had any problems with getting any of those videos uploaded, if you've paid for them, please take that up with Gumroad because I cannot help you. Even though I wish I could, I can't, okay? So I'm researching that right now at the present time. Also, when I am on hiatus, I'm coming out of hiatus on uh, June, so I will start doing uh, personal readings in June. That is when I will go back to my emails and I will be answering emails. Um, any emails that have been sent up to this point will probably not be answered. So if you have questions for me, please wait until June to send me the emails because then I will start responding, okay? Because, you know, I'm just on vacation basically from doing personal readings because personal readings take a lot of energy and, um, I do have a full-time job as well, so I want to make sure that I preserve my energy for these monthly readings and these bi-weekly readings and the other, you know, things that I have coming out very, very soon, so, so just please be aware of that and respect that, and I certainly respect you in return, all right? Let's get started with your astrological alignments, guys. Um, I'm doing it a little bit differently. Uh, I'm actually going to add the North Node and the South Node reading as well as the Saturn going retrograde at the Galactic Center in Sagittarius. So um, it, it's going to be just a little bit different, but it, it's just just bear with me, okay, because it's, it's kind of a different way of, uh, of approaching um, the astrology that, from what I normally do. All right, the Sun, Cancer, is in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. When the sun is in this area of your life, there is illumination on these particular aspects of your life. Make sure these particular areas of your life are to the positive and not to the negative. Because the sun has no discrimination, it will illuminate whatever exists in this particular area of your life. So like I said, put it towards the positive, not towards the negative, okay? So you're going to get a lot of fire. A lot of passion and a lot of energy in these particular areas. The North Node is going to move into Leo on the 9th of May. Now, the, the nodes move um, reverse. They go counterclockwise, whereas we could consider the planets going clockwise. So the planets go clockwise, no, nodes go counterclockwise, okay? So it was in Virgo. Now it's going back into Leo. Now Leo is all about an open heart, a loving heart, um, leadership, courage, being bold, being out there, being a little bit extravagant, showing off a little bit. So for you, this is where the North Node is where you want to direct your energy while the North Node is here. So for you, this is in your second house of the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own your self-value. So when you've got these particular areas lit up by the North Node, this is where you want to be bold. This is where you want to be courageous. This is where your focus should be. My self-worth, my value, what I bring to the table. It's time I'm paid for what I'm worth, okay? This is the type of energy that you need to kind of have encompassed around you while the North Node is transiting Leo. Now the South Node, and you might have Leo people come into your life as well, all right? So some of you Cancerians out there, you might become friends with a Leo. You might attract Leos into your life. So just be aware of that. The South Node is in Aquarius, and this is going from Pisces back into Aquarius. So what does this mean? Aquarius is all about being independent, thinking out of the box, being a rebel, um, you know, being friends, but, but, you know, not really getting into the whole mushy anything. They're very detached. Okay. That's what an Aquarian is. When we have the South Node in Aquarius, what happens is, is that those ideologies are thrown out the window. 
okay? The alienation is gone. There needs to be a movement towards loving friendships, loving unions, teamwork. And for you, this is in your eighth house of joint finances and intimacy. So in this particular area of your life, you might be jettisoning or getting rid of an Aquarian out of your life because they don't serve you anymore. The same thing happened with Pisces when Pisces, uh, the south node was transiting Pisces. Pisces were let go out of groups that they thought they were going to be in forever, friendships that they thought they were going to be in forever. They kind of got thrown out of the group because the south node is where we release. So when the south node's in Pisces, the Pisces got released. And now that the south node is in Aquarius, the Aquarians are going to get released. Now, does that mean the Aquarians are bad people? Absolutely not. All right. It just means that your relationship with them is not going to hold the same significance that it may have held for you in the past. All right. And this has to do with finances, intimacy. Okay. Joint finances. So this is where you need to be, you know, have a teamwork mindset, a union mindset, a family mindset, getting together, getting it done together, being a family. This is where you will get your biggest gains is when you can release the alienation, enhance the friendship, enhance the bonds, and be bold, okay, with the North Node in Leo, be bold in your value, okay? So just be aware of that, Cancers. Mercury's retrograde until May 3rd, and this is in Aries, and for you this is in your 10th house of status and career. So there could be a lot of miscommunication. There could be a lot of uh, electrical issues as it relates to your career, as it relates to your status. There could be things going on with social media that you're not too happy about. Um, there could be a need to reassess these particular areas of your life. And then once Mercury starts going direct on the third, you have the green light to be able to move forward in these particular areas of your life of status and career and communicate about them. I would certainly wait a couple days after Mercury goes direct right around the 5th or the 6th uh, to solidify this status and career um, event or events that you have been trying to get moving forward. Venus is also in your 10th house going direct. And with status and career, there could be love, harmony, kindness, abundance, small financial gain as it relates to your status and your career. So for some of you out there, you might be reassessing joint finances and you might be reassessing, should I get married? Should I get married again? Okay, this could be what's going on because there is love and harmony in this particular area of your life. So this is really, really beautiful. All right, you're in receptive mode. So people are coming to you in your status and in your career. So you will be receiving in this area of your life. Mars is in your 12th house of hidden matters, clandestine affairs, research, hospitals, healing, unconscious, subconscious, dream states, psychic abilities, Piscean people, okay? When Mars is here, there could be aggression. There could be passion towards a Piscean person, okay? So this could be how this is manifesting for you. Move it more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side. But you could have a lot of passion with your health. You could have a lot of aggression with your health. You might have aggressive. Okay, I just heard for some of you Cancerians out there, you've got aggressive children. So you are going to have to handle that as uh, diplomatically as possible. Your children might be a little bit aggressive. Uh, there could be a Piscean uh, person in your life that's a little bit aggressive with you or maybe they're passionate towards you. So just be aware of that but you could definitely uh, be dealing with these particular aspects of your life. The new moon is on May 25th, and it is in your 12th house. So set your new moon intentions for what you want in these areas of your life, not for what you don't want. So if you do have an aggressive child, set your new moon intentions to help me to understand my child so that I can assist in strengthening what their attributes are and minimizing any negative uh, effects of our dynamic with one another, okay? That could be something that you would want to uh, uh, intend 
at this new moon if this is what you're going through. Uh, you could also want to maybe intend um, something about your health or, or your psychic abilities or something about a Piscean person. So just be aware of that. The full moon is on May 10th and for you. This is in your fifth house. This is in Scorpio. So when you've got a full moon in your fifth house of children, romance, creativity, risk-taking, pets even, okay, there's something culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end in this particular area of your life. Now, we do have Saturn going retrograde at 27 degrees in Sagittarius, and this is considered the galactic center. So Sagittarius is all about exploration, adventure, um, truth, foreign, foreign dealings, okay? When we've got Saturn going retrograde in this particular area, there is a questioning of that which has been considered a fact or that has been considered truth a priori, all right? So in this particular situation, you are questioning why is it that this is a truth? Why is it that this is considered a fact? Do we need to revisit this? Do, am I standing in my integrity? Am I standing within my own value? And for you, this is in your sixth house. This is in your sixth house of daily duties, reputation in the world, and you know your work. So in this particular area of your life, you are questioning the truth in these areas. And as I said, for the Geminis, for example, you know, somebody might have PhD behind their name, somebody might have MD behind their name, somebody might have, you know, um, a master's, whatever it is, but are they capable of actually doing the work? Are they capable of leading a team? Are they capable? Okay? You got to look, for example, at Steve Jobs, all right? The guy just up and said, screw school, I'm going to I'm going to open up my own computer business and look what happened. Okay, so we have to take into consideration that sometimes even though somebody's got a title behind their name does not mean that they're capable. And I believe that what's happening right now is a lot of corporate and a lot of executives are being their feet are being held to the fire saying why did you hire this person? They can't even complete a task. Okay? So that could be what's going on for some of you Cancerians out there. All right, Cancers, let's see what's going on as it relates to your general energies for May. There's your general energies. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life? There's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on with your emotional life and love life, Cancers? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. There's your emotional life and love life. And what do we have going on for your health and well-being? Health and well-being for cancers. There's your health and well-being. Okay, cancers. And what do we have going on for your archangel guidance? Archangel guidance for cancers. There's your archangel guidance. All right, cancers, what do we got going on? for your general energies for the month of May of 2017. Cancers, the general energies for you is that you have invested into something, you're waiting for the return on that investment. This could be at work, this could be at school, this could be in retirement. You are looking at something that is growing. I just heard for some of you Cancerians out there, you're deciding whether or not you wanna take money out of an IRA or out of um, an investment or something like that, uh, that could be. Uh, for some of you, you are actually putting money into a savings account, or you are putting money into a Roth IRA, or you are putting money into you know, uh, stocks and bonds and so on and so forth, and you're watching it grow, and you're deciding, do I wanna sell, or do I wanna stay right where I'm at? That could be what's going on for some of you Cancerians out there. For other Cancers out there, this is something very simple. You're, you're like, getting your garden ready for the spring, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. So you're looking at your garden, you're saying, oh, I've got shoots here and I've got this here and I hope it doesn't frost over, I hope it doesn't freeze. Did I plant early? Did I not plant early enough? Uh, you know, should I wait to plant? Those types of things that are, are coming in and this could really be with anything. This could be, you know, should I go into the next phase of my relationship? 
Should I go for that new job? Should I go for that promotion? What do I want to do? What do I want to invest? Am I going to get my return on investment? Do I want to go back to school? Those types of things. You are of two minds right now, and your best bet is to wait until Mercury starts going direct, and then you can have a better understanding of what it is you're dealing with, and then you can make a, a firmer decision as you move forward, and one that has a little bit more clarity behind it. I'm just hearing this over and over again in, 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 the, in your head, Cancerians. It's like, what do I do? How do I do that? What do I do now? What do I do now? That's what I'm hearing for a lot of you. It's like, what do I do now? Is this what I want? That's what I'm hearing, Cancers. I, I would definitely wait until after May 7th. Think on it right now, but after May 7th, you're going to have more information to be able to make uh, an informed decision, okay? So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? For your work life and financial life, Cancers, you do have the three of wands. You are, for some of you, you are starting a new entrepreneurial venture. This could be you saying, should I open up my own business? Should I be my own boss? Do I want to be in corporate anymore? Should I make my hobby into a business? For those of you that are retired, you might be doing something on the side that's a hobby and it can make some money. It can make some bank. All right. So maybe what you've done is you put the message out there and you're waiting to hear back. Okay. So for some of you Cancerians out there, this could be how this transpires for you. For other Cancerians out there, this could be you applied for a job and you're waiting to hear back on that job and there might be three contenders with that particular job. For others of you, you have to decide between three different people to place them in a job if you are the hiring manager or if you are the hiring director, whatever that is. All right. This could be for some of you needing to travel for work. All right. That could be. For others of you, what I'm sensing is you're tired of waiting. And because you're tired of waiting, it's kind of stressing you out. And it's causing you to like lose weight. You can't eat. You can't sleep. Okay, you think about it constantly. So this could be kind of what's going on with your work life and your financial life. For some of you, you are deciding whether or not you want to take a family vacation. You are deciding whether or not you want to go somewhere. Uh, this could be you and your three kids. Um, maybe you want to go alone or maybe you want to go with somebody. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling it's just like you and your three kids. I don't know why I'm getting that. But... Um, but that's kind of what's going like, do I want to pay that much to take my kids to Yosemite Park or to take my kids to Disney World or to take my kids to Paris or to take my kids to Rome? Whatever it is, it's like you're considering it. Or this could also be for some of you. Your child is of age right now and they want to go on a school trip to another uh, area of the globe. Okay, so that could be what's going on here. And maybe you're waiting for them to return or you're, you know, you're saying bon voyage, you know, so that could be what's happening here. But overall, the three of wands gives you some sort of indication as it relates to, you know, entrepreneurial ventures, waiting for your ships to come in, having three people around you that you're considering taking with you. Okay. Those types of energies is what's and for some of you you might want to partner with uh, this particular entrepreneurial venture maybe you've got two people that um, could enhance your service offering as well so please just be aware of that two people to partner with two financiers maybe you're trying to decide do I go with this stock broker do I go with this stock broker those types of energies do I go to this school? Do I go to that school? Should I invest here? Should I invest there? You're, you, and for some of you, you've already made that decision and you're waiting to see that return on investment. So what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life cancers? Cancers, for emotional life and love life, you do have the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. This is love. This is a favorable outlook. There is emotion. There is connection. Okay? This could be... Um, this trip that you're going on with your family could be a real bonding moment for you. 
if you are going with your family, i.e. two parents and kids, definite bonding moment. This could also be where potentially when your child leaves, okay, to go on this trip, you know, across the world or whatever, you're crying and you're, you're just, you're, you're like Xing out the days for when they come back because you're just like, you want to see them again. All right. Or they're crying when they leave and they, I'm sensing for some of you, you've got children that are going to college and you know, they're crying or you're crying or something like that. So that could be what's going on for some of you. But overall, the bond that you have with a significant other is beautiful. And this is something to be relished. This is something to be celebrated. Uh, for some of you, you're deciding, does this person even love me? Yes, they do. They do love you. And you love them. And you are trying to decide, okay, you might be dating three people. And you, you're narrowing it down and you're saying, you know what? I think this is the one. This is the one that I need to put my energy and my time into because they're, they're showing me the real deal, okay? So that could be what's going on for some of you Cancerians out there. For those of you that are single, um, you, might be, you might be crying. It's like you're, you're crying. It's like you're just waiting for your soulmate to come. You're waiting for your twin flame to, to get here. You're, you're considering moving to meet a soulmate, to meet somebody that you know you could live the rest of your life with and you're you're just overly emotional about it celebrate you cancers celebrate you focus on you be happy when you are happy when you are together when you are in love with yourself you're you're going to have your choice of suitors all right so you'll attract the person that really does match you so that is really, really beautiful. So what do we have going on for your uh, health and well-being? For your health and well-being, you do have the wheel of fortune. So right now, there could have been steps in the past or steps that you're taking right now to better your health. And overall, this is beautiful. Some of you may have decided to go on a diet. Some of you may have decided to start working out. And you are losing weight. Some of you might have an attachment to a Taurian person as well because I believe the Tauruses also had this, um, this particular tarot card. And as you can see, this guy, it's like his clothes are hanging off of him. So, you know, he's losing weight. You know, for, so for some of you, you might be doing a detox flush. That could be, and you're, you're waiting to see how it's going to turn out. And whatever you're doing to help your health is very positive right now, Cancers. So, so this is something that is a beautiful thing. Stick to it. Don't give up. You're going to be just fine. You're going to start seeing results. Just be patient. It will happen. For others of you, you're simply waiting for the wheel of fortune to turn in your favor. Um, I, you do see books here as well, guys. See that? So you do have potentially some of your children are, you know, traveling for a school trip somewhere. It might be out of the country. Uh, for others of you, this could be deciding, do I want to go back to school? You know, what, what do I need to do to, you know, to bolster what it is that I have to offer in this world and to myself and to my family? So that could be what's going on for some of you Cancerians out there. So what do we have going on uh, as it relates to your Archangel Guidance? outdoors. Archangel Jophael, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. This is all about creation and creative ideas. And here you are outdoors, you know, with a garden. You know, it's like you're, you're gardening and you're saying, okay, is it coming? Is it coming? So what you're doing right now, you're, be, you're outdoors, you're getting your fresh air, you're getting new creative ideas. The guidance is keep on keeping on. Do what it is you're doing. The wheel of fortune will turn in your favor. And for some of you, just by going out and gardening and getting outdoors, maybe running, maybe walking outdoors, you bump into somebody that could end up being your soulmate, your lifelong partner. All right. That could be what's happening here. But overall, it does appear 
that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You've had to wait a long time for this, Cancers, but it is coming. Just be patient. All right? All right, guys, I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.